Hey everyone, I wanted to hop on real quick. Um, I know it's Monday and everyone's busy, so in less than a few minutes, I want you to um, start thinking about this one change that throws kids off, a lot of kids, sensitive kids or ADHD kids, even kids with learning difficulties at this time of the year, it's a change that we don't have on, have on our radar until the moment or the weekend that it happens, and that is the time change. So I remember this so well with my daughter. She used to get so thrown off by the time change. We would just switch those clocks, um, you know, that night before bed. And with like a few weeks after that time change, it was honestly a nightmare. Like she was just so sensitive and it would throw her off and her rhythm and everything else and getting her to bed and getting her up and everything else. So this is what you can do to avoid that nightmare. So first of all, let me know in the comments below if you've noticed that the time change can throw your kiddo off and do you do anything to ahead of time to avoid that? And um, how does it throw your kids off? So really simply, the number one thing I can tell you to do to help make the time change a lot less painful is to have your child start putting them to bed um, sooner right now. So maybe it's 10 minutes, 15 minutes, figure it out. So you have, we have two weeks, I think it is to the time change. So November 7th. So next weekend or weekend coming is Halloween weekend. And then we have the time change. So think about, okay, what do I need to do to back up my kids or sh shift my child's bedtime by 10 to 15 minutes each night so that it's a bit sooner each night so that when they start waking up, um, in the morning, it's not going to be such an adjustment and it's not going to throw off their whole rhythm. And you probably even know this yourself as an adult. I hate the time change. I really hope our province has talked about scrapping it. It hasn't happened yet. As an adult, it messes us up. There's higher rates of, of uh, car accidents, machine accidents, accidents in general, all kinds of stuff. Like it's literally considered dangerous. That's why certain states and provinces have completely scrapped the time change. So imagine the effect that this is going to have on kids who are sensitive, never mind adults who are, you know, whole brain adults who are functioning fine for the most part. What it leads to in kids is more aggression, more emotional meltdowns, more depression, more anxiety, um, autism spectrum symptoms increase, sensory processing issues, more learning impairments because when we're feeling sleep deprived and thrown off, we're gonna have a harder time. So in the long run, is it gonna hurt them? No, but you throw that extra wrench in a child who's already struggling and it's just gonna make everything so much harder for them and your family for the next few weeks to a month or whatever. So take one more thing off your plate, take some time this evening and think about what can I do to um, start shifting things with my child so that the time change is easier. And another quick tip is if you are not in a bedtime routine, this is a perfect time to start implementing a bedtime routine. Start with, you know, this is the time we're gonna start going to bed. This is we're either, you know, we're gonna have bath, we're gonna have stories, whatever it is that you know you need to do to get into a good bedtime routine and um, just weave that in. This is the perfect time to do this kids thrive on consistency, routine, rhythm, all of that type of stuff. So let me know in the comments below, does your child have, um, have you noticed your child or your other children get thrown off by the time change? What do you do? How do you handle it? And uh, what does it look like? And let me know, are you going to shift it up this, this uh, year? Today is the day to start to make things a whole lot saner in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching.